God kicked out everything that troubled you out of your life. God kicked out those things that were troubling you out of your life. And he's, he's preserving you. There were some things, there were some people, there were some forces that were fighting over you. There was a fight over your head. There was a serious fight over your head. Fight between people because of you. Fight between forces because of you. A fight between situations because of you. You were just in the middle like this. Like people were just fighting over your life. Forces were fighting over you. Beloved, listen, you are so powerful. And you can see that. <laughs> oh, my. Do you even know who you are? You, you are so powerful. And they can see that. They tried to take you to themselves. They tried to identify with your spirit, with your soul, with your that is with your mind. Like they were identifying themselves, they like they would like listen, beloved. Oh my god. They saw your grace, your potentials. They saw how active you are in the spirit. How blessed you are in your spirit. They saw your future. They, they saw everything. Yes, they saw everything, beloved. They saw everything. And, they were, and, then, and then they were just coming. They thought that they wanted to have control over you. They wanted to seize you, to take you. To have you belong with, to them. Or to have you identify with them. Or to have you be together with them. But while they were doing all those things, the spirit God was saying, mm -mm, These ones are not the ones that you're supposed to be with. And because you were resisting them, beloved, because you were resisting, they kept on fighting, even you. If they now, though they were fighting you, they, 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 though, though they were fighting to take you to themselves, they saw other groups of people coming to take you. And so there was this clash in the spirit. There was a clash in the spirit when it comes to you. But at the end of the day, the Lord said, nobody, no one, no one, none of them deserved you. God looked in the spirit and said at the end of the day, none of them deserved you. None of them needed to be in your life. None of, none of them needed to, to resonate with you. And God removed them. God blocked some people. God blocked some, some, some forces, some things that were trying to, they were, that, that, that is, they were hanging on you. And that was why you were so confused sometimes. Your thoughts were conflicting. You were thinking straight. At one point, you were thinking like, side, like, like you, you could not think straight because these forces were fighting to lay hold of you. Like they were bringing towards you their thoughts. Trying to make you see, to follow their line of story. To follow, or to follow their, let me say, to follow their narrative. Like they were bringing towards you different lines of stories that were not, your narratives. And because you could not resonate with those lines of stories, you were, you were like you felt trapped. You felt like you could not do anything. You could not think. You could not like just react. You were just God just God just gave the grace to just stay put and stay quiet. And so they tried and tried and tried. You didn't take any side. And the Lord said, Have you have you, have you put done I, I have you I, I are you put done trying to take my own? Are you done? Trying to hurt my own, trying to tear off my own, trying to divide my own. They were trying to divide you because none of them could take you. They were trying to divide, <laughs> to divide you. Hallelujah. God applied the wisdom of Solomon and said, "If this baby is yours, are you sure this baby, this baby is yours? Okay, let's divide the baby." And the wicked one said, and the wicked woman said, because it was not her baby, she said, "Yeah, let's yes, let's divide it." And Solomon just knew that that was a fake mother. Let me God, that's, that, that, that's just what, what happened in your life. People, people, people were trying to claim you. They were trying to claim you. And because they could not claim you, they wanted to like just divide you. Divide your essence. Like divide your time and everything. No, you are not, you are not meant to be, to, to be divided. 
you were meant you were meant to belong fully to one person or to one thing or to one situation hallelujah they stole you from the real owner and that was god just as a wicked woman uh, 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 her child died and she stole another woman's child and was claiming that it was her child and this woman intervened and said are you sure this woman are you sure this is your child she said it's her child and, 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 and he said okay let's divide the child you see that you saw the fake one yes let us divide the child yes let us divide the child because whatever her child anyway and the real one said no she would rather allow it that's what happens in your life the real person was just there watching and they were fighting over you and they were they fighting over you and the person was just the person was just watching god was just watching demons were fighting amongst themselves when, when, when it comes to you wicked people were fighting amongst themselves trying to try to divide your attention they're trying to divide you in the spirit at the end of the day, God kicked all of them out. Do you know what's going to be happening? Do you know what's happening right now? God is bringing someone. Someone. God is bringing some, no, not just not people, but someone that truly is supposed to have a hold, the hold of you. His spirit cannot be shared with anybody. The spirit of God, like, is with you fully. And you are with the, with the spirit of God fully. No divided attention. No strange spirits. No strange spirits is around you this moment. They have all been chased away. They've all been chased away, beloved. You are free right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Is someone feeling free this moment? Those men, those women that were fighting over you, God has chased them away. The one that the, your right, the right owner of you is coming. Those spirits have been chased away. They were bringing towards you like you're being bombarded by so much that you didn't know where to, where to even turn to. The Lord said that when you were in a state of confusion, when you are in a state of confusion, don't make don't make moves, don't make decisions because. You really don't know which one is which one. And that was what you did. And now, you're in a better frame of, frame of mind to make the right decisions, to do the right things. Because confusion is over. Negative thoughts. God has brought all those negative thoughts, those negative spirits, under the captivity of the Holy Spirit, under the subjection of the Holy Spirit. Those things, the things that were trying to raise themselves against God's words in your life, have all been brought down. They have all been laid captive. Hallelujah. So right now you're free. You're free in the name of Jesus. You're free. Hallelujah. Your space is free. Your environment is free. Everything about you is just completely like so different. Those who are around you this moment, they can see you. They can resonate with you. They understand you. Not the ones that are coming and going and causing situations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Stay well, stay blessed, stay glory, stay glorious, stay strengthened in Jesus' mighty name. Faith is our vehicle, always our strength. See you in the next.